morning everyone and welcome to a vlog update loving life here as you guys can probably tell um okay so it's monday morning it's like 11 i honestly i didn't get out of bed till like 8 30 which is pretty late for me i haven't been on my early morning grind here yet but i think i'm gonna try out equinox tomorrow which i've said i like actually really really miss if you guys know me you guys know i love my early morning routines i've just been really out of my routine but i'm like kind of giving myself some slack I've only been here for two weeks, and I've only been in my house for like a week, so I need to chill, you know what I mean? But if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. This morning, I just read a ton. I'm currently reading Crash the Chatterbox, I think, by Stephen Furtick. It's really, really good. Um, I'll have that link down below. Also, for my outfit today, I'm just wearing this little soft turtleneck from American Eagle. So freaking soft, guys. I'm obsessed with them. But I'm wearing Levi's. Oh my gosh, guys, these shoes. So I just got these shoes for $17. They're Sam Edelman slide. Actually unreal. I'll link them down below as well. Um, I didn't know I was gonna have this silver thing and I really just needed slides. These are not like the shoes that I'm absolutely obsessed with, but for the time being to see if I like really wanna get. Honestly, I thought I wouldn't wanna get the Gucci ones just cause I feel like they're old. But at this point, I like need a good everyday slide. Also, this morning, so as you guys know, I'm going to Nashville next month and I booked the Airbnb. This is why I just shouldn't be in charge of things. And I got charged to a separate bank account and PayPal twice for like 1637, which is our um, like Airbnb total. So they charged me to two separate occasions. And I'm like the biggest Airbnb fan. I love them. I love them. I've promoted them so much. Like I love Airbnb. And their customer service at first is like, oh, they're really quick and they're nice. But like, it's literally been a week and they just keep pushing me to someone else. And then they're like, so sorry. Like, there's not this, like, it's ridiculous. Like once, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, it's really not that big of a deal. I would just like to be reimbursed for like the double payment. But they're just being like really difficult to deal with. So that's how I spent my Monday morning. How are you guys? Uh, today, I'm actually about to film a video, which will be exciting. I'm getting dinner with my dad later today. It's gonna be like more of a work day. I need to do some homework. I'm gonna film a finance video. Oh my gosh, guys, I have a call with a financial advisor. It's like my consulting call with them. And this is making me way more excited than it should be. I just am like really excited to be responsible and to like actually know what I'm doing. So I'll let you guys know how I like that and how it goes. I also kind of want to do a whole video, like my experience, like if I do end up going with them and just like, I don't know, just like talking about it and like my experience for six months, what you get out of it, all that stuff, like, you know. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Now I'm gonna stop so I can start filming my video. This Barefoot Dreams blanket is literally always out because we just give it to Coco. Guys, so she got shaved and we just feel so bad for her. Like, she's actually naked. So we just keep saying, skinny, like Mariah Carey, um, because we just feel so bad for her. Poor dog. But she does have this cute little bandana on. Hi, Coco. How are you? She's actually just so freaking cute. Coco and I have really bonded since moving back to Texas because we're each other's, like, best friend. She literally just eats dog food all around because she has to bring it everywhere. Coco, why do you do that, girl? All right, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, okay, I just filmed my video and I'm now realizing I really like the setup and the lighting for this angle better, but what are you gonna do? Um, I also, I showed this in my last vlog. I've been using GoodNotes a lot more on my iPad because Lauren has been using it and she's like, oh, isn't this what you use? And then I was like, wait, I should actually like really utilize this tool. So this is how I planned out my video that I just filmed. Like I'm working like most worn items, like a few other videos. I copied her with my planner and there's like one side that's a schedule and one side that's a to-do but yeah i've really been liking this okay, it's currently now like 11 40. i'm gonna go to highland park village to work at that starbucks today so i would like to kind of get out of the house to work because i don't have an office here now and i will go a little bit crazy listening to okay sis and i just made some avocado toast for lunch hey guys i'm now with quentin and we are at highland park village we've just been sitting in the car for like a few minutes and it's parking um first off i thought about today is really well today's president's day so this is a missed opportunity to take the day off but uh whatever okay i'm gonna show you guys how i've been editing my instagram photos because i feel really great on my instagram for the first time probably ever okay so i use the teza app um i always go to mocha i think now that i'm doing it watch you mess it up what uh, i don't know but i take it down big time like i only do maybe like 
probably 12 right there and then I always kind of up the exposure just a little bit go then I do contrast slightly and then I'll also do grain so it does it immediately at five which is like too much grain for my pictures so I'll normally take it to probably like anywhere between like 1.5 and 3 and then sometimes I'll take the temperature down just a little bit I've noticed because I've been posting a lot of browns so just to make it like not too warm yeah I feel like that's good maybe a little bit okay we're gonna save it and then I'll put it in my photo planning app to see if I like it I don't know why it hasn't been working but basically it'll show my feed and then I put the photo there and I plan it out to see if I like it and then I'll post from there but that's how I've been editing with again the Tezza app it just looks like this is the app right here this one Tezza like the blogger she's the best Instagram ever it's actually really humid but we made it to Highland Park Village it's really beautiful one of our fave places we actually haven't been since we both move. Maybe Q has. He moved before me. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the Starbucks. I love working here. Just got off my call and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to get for my office. This is honestly so stressful. Alright, everyone, I'm about to leave Starbucks. Um, I'm gonna drive Quentin somewhere and then I'm gonna go home. Tonight I have plans with my dad. I'm going to dinner with my dad. But other than that, it is a night at home. I'll probably get some editing done. Um, I need to film a little bit more and just do stuff, but. All right, guys, I just came home to a package from Milk Bar eating, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so there's all these different flavors. Oh my gosh, cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow cookie. That literally sounds amazing. Confetti cookie. Wow, blueberry and cream cookie. I think I'm gonna try it. The confetti one looks really good. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna really like the corn cookie. That's such a weird, like such an odd kind of flavor, but it actually sounds really good. I think I'm gonna try this one right now. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, guys, wait, I just realized that this was actually from Curology. I was so confused because Mel Bar has sent me stuff that I was like, how would they have my Texas address? But it's from Curology because I'm working with them. And they sent these to me. That is so cute. So I spent the past few hours just editing on my couch. Um, also, also I've had Chiron in the background. I think I only have one episode left after this. My dad is about to pick me up for dinner. So we're going to go eat literally right now. So I need to get up. But this show is so freaking good. All right, guys, I'm back home. I just showered. I self-tanned. That is not good because that's really freaking me out because I just self tan when sometimes when my self tanner is drying it dries weird in certain patches and then it's fine after it's done here's Coco but it's like 10 p.m. I'm finishing cheer tonight I'll talk to you guys in the morning very excited oh I went to get Cajun food with my parents for dinner tonight it was really fun but now I'm back I had a nice like long bath and just feeling great Um, I'm about to go to Equinox. I'm going to use Quentin's guest pass and see how I like it. I might join there and then, I don't know, like, there are studios I want to try. I just like haven't figured this out. Anyways, um, Nike sports bra, Lululemon leggings, uh, Adidas Ultra Boost. I almost said Astro World. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and then my favorite jacket is Brandy. It's pouring rain outside. So I'm just going to do, I think, like the treadmill. I'm not really feeling some crazy workout today um it's really gloomy and it's pouring rain but i think i'm gonna do that for like an hour and then listen to a podcast but i'm just gonna wear this jacket because it's so comfy it's literally the best jacket ever i got it on brandy melville um i used to have like a lighter gray color but they don't sell that anymore honestly i want like five colors in this jacket because it's just literally the best thing ever okay i'm switching my bags from this is kind of more my everyday bag just because it holds my vlog camera to this Little like Balenciaga um, fanny, you guys have seen this a billion times. For those of you asking about the zipper, I still have not fixed the zipper. Um, that is truly a little bit of a tragic subject. I think a lot of people keep saying to go to the dry cleaner and I think by that they mean a dry cleaner with a tailor in it. So I am gonna do that, but it's literally the best thing for workouts. You're just like, it's so cute. Like I've been wearing it lately and I just love it, but I literally pull it like it's such a pain. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to Equinox. I'm gonna try it out there um, I'm sorry if talking about my workouts and stuff is so annoying But I feel like a lot of you guys have questions just about like studios and gyms and stuff. So Quentin goes to Equinox. He's like the biggest Equinox fanatic. He loves it 
and I was never someone who like really wanted to work out at my, a gym by myself. I really like classes and studios with the community aspect and the motivation, and I like the cancellation fees. Unpopular opinion. I actually live for cancellation fees because if I book a 6 a.m. workout, I'm going because I'm not going to spend an extra $15 on top of that $30 class, you know what I mean? But um, I'm kind of in feeling, I don't know, I kind of like want to go to the gym by myself. I've never really been someone who goes to the gym by myself. I've been in sports and worked out pretty much my whole life, but never really been that kind of person that loved that, you know? But I'm kind of feeling it. They also have classes and they have like heated whatever. So I feel like it's just really the move for me. And then I might do like class pass and stuff to have studios outside of it. But I really just need structure. I need to go back to being disciplined. I've only been here for two weeks and like it's been spent moving and you know, whatever. So I'm learning to not be so hard on myself because it's fine that I've been off a little bit, but yeah. Um, I really want to get back on routine and just have more structure just because I feel better that way, but I like still don't even have a mattress in my place. I'm sleeping on an air mattress in my office. And yeah. So I don't really have everything perfect except for like the living room area that you guys see that I film in. Also update on the dresser, the Wayfair dresser that was trash. Um, they have like the best customer service. So I was like, hey, there's like no way there's it's literally falling apart And so they're sending me a new one Which I don't know how much good that's gonna do because the dresser is pretty bad Which is really tragic because the nightstands that are like the same line are really good Like that's what I had in LA and I bought them again So we'll see updates to come. I'm just gonna hire someone to professionally do it and we'll see But I'm going to Equinox today. I have a lot of my to-do list a lot of just computer work But it's raining and gloomy and so I'm like really into it I also need to make a bigger effort to like see friends because I've been so like hanging out by myself or with Quentin I don't know how it really and my friends live like 40 minutes away So it's not like I'm gonna see them like all the time when I'm here um, but And they all work normal jobs, but I need to like branch out and make more friends where I'm at and stuff So just thinking out loud of things that I need to do, but I'm not being hard on myself because it's literally been two weeks Here we go. All right guys. I am leaving Equinox. I did a 50 minute like I guess interval of basically the income is at 15 and then I went between 2.6 and 3.4 it like doesn't sound like it's gonna be that awful until you do it and you're like dying I was watching um, I watched YouTube videos which I never do when I work out because obviously I'm normally in a class I watched Michelle Reed's last week in my life vlog and it's so funny because I went in there and then I saw some girl was watching a vlog on the treadmill and I was like oh brilliant idea so I did the same thing I saw like a to-do thing on there and I was like I wonder if it's one of my friends also please ignore this for now guys I just literally can't talk about it um i need to get right now my self tanner is just way too dark and i just like totally forgot that it was so dark but anyways then i watched michelle's vlog and i realized that she was watching the same one because it was the same to do thing from her last week of my life vlog which is really funny um and then i watched keaton's vlog and now i'm listening to Ed my lap podcast i'm gonna stop at the store because i still need a few things from home guys dallas is literally so freaking cute and beautiful like look how cute it is oh my gosh Update on Equinox. I think it is just like a little bit intimidating to me since I've been like taking classes or being trained for so long to like go to the gym by myself even though I definitely know what to do like I'm just being dramatic. So that is definitely something I I definitely something I like, want to get better at like I want to be able to just go to the workout whenever I want to work out and do whatever I want to do and kind of get on a plan as well. So I just need to be more structured and disciplined in my workouts by myself. But I liked it. Um, I really want to take classes from there, which like I already used his guest pass. So um, I want to take classes from there and see. I think I'm going to end up doing it because like the benefits are just like, so good. All right, guys, I stopped at Ross because I actually found it's such a random place to actually find like good stuff. Um, but I also didn't want to drive all the way to Home Goods. I got towels, um, a bunch of this stuff, just like random things. I'll show you guys when we get home and a hamper, obviously. Okay guys, I'm home, so I'm really quickly, well first off, I've been listening to this episode on Ed Milet's um, podcast, it's literally my favorite podcast ever, um, well one of them, but anyways, it's really, really good, Quentin was listening to it at the gym when I left, and he's like, you need to listen to this, and it was already cued, but yeah, I just got an Amazon package, super random, but I want to make this dip that my mom used to always make, and it's cream cheese with like, Basically chipotle raspberry sauce, um, so this should do, this is gluten free too, that's good, my mom's gluten free, but it's seriously so good and it's really good for entertaining and it's, you can't just find it at like Trader Joe's, so I just wanted to have it on hand. Then I got these journals, I really needed new journals, and I don't know, I wanted to try this brand, this is so much cheaper than a moleskin, and the moleskin's honestly the only reason I got this because the one I wanted wasn't available on Prime and this one was, so... 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna try these and let you guys know how I like it. I'm doing a lot of little research on like journals and morning journals and all that stuff, which is fun. But I will show you guys what I picked up from Ross. I got this bath mat, bigger than I thought, that's even better. Um, I got these little oven mitts because we haven't had any and I will literally take stuff out with like my sleeve, but Quentin's a baby. So if he's over and we cook, I'm like, I guess it's just safer. It's just better to have that. I'm just, you know, living life on edge. Um, these are for cute. I got two of these little bowls, like Tupperware containers, which I thought would be great for whether it's like pasta or soup or whatever it is. But yeah, it's dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Just really good for like maybe even like a meal prep type thing. I don't actually have meal prep boxes here, but um, I don't feel like I necessarily need them with what I'm going to be doing. I don't know. So we have that. Update on my pots and pans. They got somehow returned to sender. They're supposed to be here last Friday. They never arrived and they said Wednesday. Got returned to sender. So now I have to still, I'm still waiting for them and they're expensive. So that's why I just haven't gone out because I already paid. So those are coming and my knife set's coming, but I basically have only been able to use my air fryer, which sucks. Um, okay. I got these teas, which I'm definitely skeptical about getting teas, but like it just sits in a bag. So I don't know why it would be that big of a deal. Let me know, but I'm definitely like very skeptical of it. I don't know, guys. Like, I don't even really know why I got these because I was like, I don't want to, but I don't know. Like, is it that big of a deal? And then I just got a bunch of towels. Um, these are actually great quality and they were so cheap. So, yeah, I'm going to um, bring this up to my room when I go shower because I need this hamper anyways because my dirty clothes are just on the floor of my closet. It was driving me insane. This is a really big basket as well, which honestly is not great because then I'll put off doing my laundry. But I needed one that I could hold and bring because I still am just doing laundry at my dad's house, which isn't even a big deal. It's like just on the road, but I have to pay and get movers to move the washer and dryer and set all that up. It's just a process. All right, guys, I'm really hungry for lunch, so I'm just going to show you guys what I am doing right now. I do have leftovers, which I could have just heat up now that I think about it. Whatever. Okay. Uh, this is like my really easy meal. Okay. For lunch, here's the deal. Like, I'm not going to get full from this. I have two things of salmon, which honestly, I would rather just make both of them today. So I might have the same meal twice, but I'm going to make all this broccoli. And yeah, I just use like olive oil. I use my normal Trader Joe's seasoning. If you guys have never watched my channel, I'll show you. But like, you're probably going to be annoyed because I literally talk about it all the time. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Okay, this is the seasoning I use. It's so freaking good for vegetables. And this stuff, I cannot cook at the same time. These are sweet potatoes, but I think I'm just gonna make one after. This takes so much longer. But yeah, I'll probably like, this will be like a little small half of my lunch. And then I'll eat this half after, um, just cause I'm so hungry. So I'd rather get out of the way. And then I make my salmon in my air fryer, which is the best thing to ever happen to me. And it's super easy. I literally just put the salmon in, I season it. I hit the like salmon button, I'll show you guys. And then, like it will be done, it's amazing. But I'm currently preheating the oven right now and then I'm gonna lay out the broccoli. All right, so I just drizzled some olive oil while I wash them, drizzled some olive oil and then I put on my seasoning. Okay, so I just season Sam I'm gonna make both of them. And then I just hit, this one I don't like as much as the one in my LA house. Dang it, okay. I'll normally do 12. And then it's good to go. Honestly, lemon just makes everything so much better. And he goes, my friends are saying I'm a shithead, all this stuff, we're driving it. Okay guys, I'm sitting at my kitchen table right now. I'm editing a vlog. Honestly, it's like 4.45 right now and I am so tired and I don't want to drink a coffee because lately I've been staying up a lot later. I feel like my mind just hasn't, I don't know, like I feel like I get really productive past like 8 p.m. and I get so much stuff done. But like during the day and in the morning, I'm so slow and tired, which I don't want to do anymore. I would much rather be productive and stuff throughout the day. But anyways, I'm going to try to get as much edited done as possible. But like honestly, I really just want to sleep. It's like I got a good night's sleep last night. Ah. Anyway, so I'm editing a weekend of my life vlog. I have another video. I have a few videos I need to add it today and then uh, emails and stuff. So we'll see. But my sweet potato should be done pretty soon. I might make myself a cup of coffee, even though I hate that. Currently still editing. I caved because I'm so tired. Um, my sweet potato is ready. I put on some butter. I normally honestly don't do that, but I didn't have anything else to like top it with. So I'm just gonna do it for now. But yeah, it's 4 p.m. It's 5 p.m. I really hate that I'm doing this and I like, wanna go to bed early, but like 
it, I will get nothing done if I don't do this. So I'll just make myself read for like two hours if need be tonight. You guys keep asking me where I get these mugs. They're from William Sonoma. The exact link is on my like to know it profile. You guys can just go to my Instagram, go to my um, links profile or highlight, I mean, and then you can swipe up and then you guys can get the exact link. But yeah, it's like the best. I love these so much. Guys, I'm not kidding. This is the best soup potato I've ever had. And it honestly just has to be the butter because I always try to just opt for healthier options. So I like leave out butter and you know, whatever. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking amazing. One, a really fun hobby and two, healthier butter of overall. Really want to move into a um, I think I'm gonna get a new channel banner to match my newsletter. I don't know why I was just thinking about that. But anyways, I have a really good graphic designer and I love her. But I'm very happy because I finished editing two videos. I vlog from this spot all the time. So I finished editing my IGTV video and two videos from my channel. I have to record my podcast intro and do a bunch of emails and stuff. Um, I now have a lot of energy, of course, because I drank that coffee. I don't know how I'm gonna fall asleep. It's really annoying. Today has just been a very productive afternoon and night of working from home. I still have quite a few things to do on my to-do list, but I'm gonna get a bunch done because I'm feeling like it. I'm feeling good. Also, this morning, Q and I started watching Nashville and love it so far in the theme of me going to Nashville in a few weeks. But yeah, and last night it finished Cheer. I'm way better at watching shows. It was so good. I want the people from Cheer on my podcast so bad and they live in Texas. So like I could easily do it, but I need to get in contact with one of them, which is the hard part. So yeah, anyways, I want them like that would be like dream guest, but yeah. Okay, I did my podcast intro. I still haven't bought my new equipment yet. This is not good enough, especially in comparison to what I normally record with, with like a whole studio. I mean, this is fine for sure if you're starting a podcast, but I have all these episodes that I recorded in a studio with way better audio so it's like super noticeable that this is in great quality. I posted my first IGTV video. I don't know. Okay, well, I thought I No, I did. Look at me go. Aren't we proud? That is my first Instagram TV video I've ever posted. Um and it's when I got my hair done with my sister, so I think you guys will really like it. If you guys didn't know my sister does hair in Dallas, so um you should follow her. I'm trying to like help her like revamp her socials so it's like really valuable to pretty much anyone and everyone, not just um like clientele and stuff. But if you guys live in Dallas, she also does hair. So you guys should go get your hair done by her. Hello everyone. Um I'm having a nice night at home. I pretty much it's like 8 30. I've pretty much finished all the work that I'm gonna do for today. It is so crazy how much more time I have in Texas versus LA. Like, unreal. I mean, obviously, it's a combination of I used to be, like, in physical school, and now I'm just an online for, like, the next semester I graduate. Well, I still have 16 credits after this semester, so I think I'm going to split them up and take a few in the summer and then take, like, two more classes in the first session of fall. So I'll actually graduate in, like, October because, obviously, I don't want to take... I don't know. Actually, I could really... I probably will just take 16 over the summer. So, basically, the combination of not being in the internship and then also, like, not having full-time school and then not spending all of my life in the car, I just have so much more time to kind of get things done. Like, I don't feel like I'm, like, as, like, crazy all the time, which is good and bad because I kind of, like, function really well when I'm super busy. But I think I just, like, really need to learn how to not have to be on, like, 24-7, you know? I think I'm kind of, like, learning to relax a little bit. And then on top of that, but also, it gives me more time to do other things. So, like, I've been really investing a lot more time in the podcast. And, like, I'm really getting really, really cool guests on and just, like, planning trips and doing all that stuff and then also like I definitely want to come out with something in the next year which I've started working on this week especially and it's like really cool so I'm not gonna like talk about that a ton and be like oh I'm working on something like I don't mean that I just mean like moving has allowed me to um just better my life you know so I'm gonna pour some water also I booked a class at class studios at 7 a.m tomorrow it's like a train class um a lot of you guys have been telling me I would really like it so I want to do that I want to just try out pretty much everything um, I haven't found something I'm like absolutely obsessed with yet, but yeah, I'm really excited. I think that'll be good. I want to watch Nashville, but Quentin would kill me if I watched it, but I really honestly should read, so I'll probably read a little bit, 
and then watch something and then I don't know I just like wish I could fall asleep at 9 p.m. tonight I don't think I'll be able to so that's great so as my dinner heats up um, I wanted to show you guys the two books I'm reading just because I probably will stop vlogging for the night I'm just gonna eat dinner probably watch a few shows and then go upstairs and read I haven't started this book yet, but I got it, Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. I'm really excited for this, but I'm first going to finish this one, it's Cross the Chatterbox by Stephen Furtick. Good morning everyone, um, I'm sure the lighting is awful. It's currently 6.30, I just got up, I'm going to a workout. I really like a 7am workout, because it's not too early, I don't feel like I didn't go to bed. Um, I'm so done with my workout by eight. I like being done with my workouts by eight. I'm gonna try out Class Studios. They, um, a lot of you guys have recommended it to me. I'm doing the train class, which I think I might actually really like. I'm really cold. Um, I'm gonna move you guys to here. I'm trying to like get a better setup. Um, okay, the set that I was wearing was, the set that I'm wearing is Lululemon. I want a white hydro flask so bad because this pink one i just don't feel like it's really me right now but i really want a while but i don't want to spend another like four dollars on hydro flask so um i'm just like really into like interval training and stuff like that right now but anyways i go through my phases and obviously always pilates but i'm actually going with a follower a lot of dallas girls i keep saying like guys like i will go work out with you and i don't think anyone is taking me seriously or no one wants to work out basically no one wants to hang out with me but um, this girl, a girl who follows me reached out and was like, oh my gosh, we should work out together. And I'm like, please. So she's going to meet me. Here we go, people. This class, the way it was set up was like kind of similar to Orange Theory in a way. Like it has like stations. I'll let you guys know. That that I'm wearing is Lulu. Um, I don't have short socks. I'm wearing these today. I need to do laundry so bad. My normal Adidas Ultra Boots that I keep trying to call Astro Boots. And then I just have this like... Black Aritzia crew neck. I'm like really cold. Listening to a finance podcast. There it is, guys. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7:50. That class was tough, and I worked out the entire time in my crew neck. Just oh, it was hard because it was like okay. Let me take you through the class. So train is they have spin. They have a sculpt class, I think. I don't know. I want to see other things, but. I did their train class because I really have liked like interval training. So I was like, oh, I can do this. Oh my gosh, it was so hard. So we had rowing and then strength, which is just like weights in a TRX band. And then the floor, <sighs> it was really hard. I went with a subscriber and it was so much fun. So if any of you guys work out in Texas, honestly, your best bet, just DM me your workout schedule for the week and then I'll see if I can come. Um, but it was so fun, she was so sweet. And it was a really great class. Look at this dog behind me. I love living here. I literally love my life. But yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to finish listening to my podcast. I've been listening to the So Many podcast. One of you guys tweeted me and recommended it to me. So it's just a book on... So it's just on finances. All right, guys. I'm home for my workout. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. I just unboxed some stuff. I'm so excited. Blissy sent me some new silk pillowcases for, obviously, my room, my house now. Um, I'm so happy. They actually sent me four, which is like... So kind of them. I wonder if they're all white. Check. Yeah, I think that they're all white. There's also this pillow mist and this little bag. I um, if you guys didn't know, silk pillowcases. I mean, you guys can just screenshot this, but they're really, really good for your hair, your skin. If you guys have eyelash extensions, it's amazing. My, I have a friend who like literally sleeping on a silk pillowcase cleared her skin. Um, I also got this Curology. I got my new nightly ritual. I used to use Curology, Curology and I loved it. Now I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, what the heck? So I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. I also got a package from Aura. These are sun cased sun damaged skin support supplements. I haven't taken supplements in a bit, um, but I probably should get on that. So, and then my dad keeps telling me and Quentin that we need to read this book. Q like really wanted this book and I saw it on Amazon and he was talking about it literally last night at like 11 p.m. And then I was on Amazon because he was at work. And I saw it. And then on Amazon, I have the option for like $3 to have next day delivery. So if I order something at midnight, it will literally show up at, by 8 a.m. the next day. It's the best thing to ever happen to me. So I just picked this up and I'm going to surprise him with it this morning. 
Um, but I also want to read this, so. All right, guys, I showered, I got ready. I'm wearing this white crop top that I got makeup on, but it's fine because I'm wearing it, this jacket. I need to do laundry so bad, so I didn't have much of a choice. This leather jacket is actually Quinton's. These jeans are a golden, how do you pronounce it? Comment down below from Revolve, my Air Force Ones that are so dirty, clean. And yeah, um, I don't need to leave for the next hour, so I'm really good post-workout. Um, I don't need to leave for an hour, so I'm just gonna make some coffee and a little, have a little bit of mud, have a little mush thing and read. And we have a breakfast date this morning, which will be really cute. But then today, Maddie Trapp is coming over. I think Wednesdays are her new thing. And then tonight, I actually have my first Dallas event, which is exciting. It's for a cool little CBD thing. There you are, Coco. Hi. <laughs> Guys, I literally am obsessed with my house, but I just read um, for like an hour and then I also did some emails and just some outreach that I need to do. And now we're heading out the door. It is 9.52. I'm picking up Q and then we're going to breakfast. I just feel like my hair looks so weird today. Mm. My hair's looking kinda wet, slick back. Might, it might be this link soon, guys. You have to come. Q has to chop his hair off. It's such a sad It's thing. been a really sore subject all week. I have never seen him. I almost cried. That's like actually literally he almost cried. It's a bond. If you have long hair, if you're if you're one of the boyfriends watching this vlog, you know. You know. Actually, if you know you, the commitment. If you're currently watching this vlog with your boyfriend, comment down below or DM me on Instagram. But I asked you, I was like, where should we go to breakfast? Should we do Deep Ellum? Should we do Highland Park Village? Should we do like Knox Henderson? And he said, I don't know, let's ask Eater. So he literally thinks Q spends so much time on Eater. Da it's just he's the like, best. Eater Dallas. It's his favorite thing in the world because he's obsessed with food. But we're gonna figure out where we wanna go to brunch. I just wanna go somewhere that's like not super expensive, not that any place here. Actually, that's not true. I've there noticed a lot of my meal prices here are the exact same as in LA. There's some pricey stuff here. Yeah, let's try it. Also, I feel like that I was. I was uh, leaving some people out. There are some girls I know for sure. You've been growing out your hair for a long time. You know the struggle when you don't want to cut your hair. It's just like this bond you have. He yeah. felt like he was leaving people out. He wanted to make sure everyone. I, I don't want to be included. Exclusive. I want to be inclusive. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Can you figure out where we're gonna go, Georgie? Aw, George. We have a friend, George, that we love. Um. This is a diner. Nope. Mm. Nope. Nope. We need to find. I Maybe would if rather. I type in brunch. You know what I want to do? I want to just go to Knox Henderson and then figure it out from there. Brunch. Cool. Here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's be spontaneous. Yeah. Oh, but look what or I just like, found. The 20 best brunches, restaurants in Dallas. Okay, let's, I've already looked at all this today. Actually, you'd be proud of me, but I didn't go and eat it. Oh, snooze is so fire. I went there with, um. Yeah. It was so good. Like, that was like, so, so like, we just knew we didn't have to say. You know, like when you like, yeah, it's like we telepathy. telepathy. Couple telepathy, you know what I mean? Yeah, we have couple telepathy. Like when, when you're in a room with like your best friend, you know, and all of a sudden you're just like, you don't have to say anything. You know, like when I went with so and so, like how many meals have you had? You now know. I'm a hand talking. <laughs> yep. You know when you become more like somebody when you spend time with them? Just the best. Henry? Just the best. Ooh, we can go to the, we can go to the Henry. No. That's not the Henry, but I don't want to go. We just went to the Henry on Sunday. But. So far. True. The Henry, which is already honestly, all the places that we go, that we go to, are also in LA. So I feel like we need to like. True. I just know Real there's house, Q. Looks good. You know what, Q? I'm gonna make the executive the ultra trendy decision. design district spot offers a brief but solid brunch menu. Ooh, choose from selections like shrimp grits, blueberry pancakes, and chorizo chilaquiles. For I don't something like this healthier, voice. Try the antioxidant packed <laughs> chia coconut vegan breakfast bowl, very LA, or Lost. avocado toast. Free shabakadu. If you know that vine, you should comment. Uh, or toast with spicy tomatoes, pumpkin seeds, okay. bitter greens, and eggs. I'm gonna drive to Knox Anderson because it's four minutes away. Goodbye. The all American breakfast. Bye. We're here for it. Eater Dallas. Okay, guys, we actually ended up just coming to Uptown and we're going to Dream Cafe. I've never been, I've heard great things, and it looked really good online. Nice outfit, especially yeah. the hoodie. Uh, I love you so much. So cute. All right, guys, so we're at Dream Cafe. It's super, super cute and cozy. Um, we were gonna go to like a super modern new place and then we ended up here, but it's really cute. Anyways, I got the Dream Benedict and then Q, what did you get? Do you remember? 
they're Vermont. Well, no, it's Vermont white cheddar, but it's uh, the mile, the mile high. Mile high. Omelette. This looks so good. Fun fact, my favorite breakfast ever is pretty much anything Benedict, Eggs Benedict, so good. Okay guys, we're on Lower Greenville now. I just wanted to kind of walk around and see um, some little stores. I wanted to do one of the merchant to see what they have. I don't know, I know there's a few cute stores here, or just a few stores. I don't know if it's gonna be my style, but I just like, wanna kind of see. Yeah, there's cream trees everywhere. I've never actually been, but it's so cute. Here's Trader Joe's. HG Supply Co, that rooftop up there, it's actually like beautiful. Like when you're up there and you see the view, it's actually, it's amazing. Guys, look at how cute that restaurant is. I really wanna try that. Honestly, just because that is the cutest restaurant sign I think I've ever seen. But we're gonna go into the Merchant. I've never been here either. Um, but apparently they have a cute little shop thing. These cards are like so cute. That one's actually really funny, like an Easter card. This is so you. You with Coco. I wish I could text my dog, actually. Seriously. That's so funny. I told Clinton that Coco will get him that for Father's Day. So cute. I'm sorry I can't come to your party. <laughs> That's literally me, actually. All this Dallas stuff. Is this actually... It's cute. Okay guys, even just like the branding of this is actually really cute. Hmm. Guys, look at this little Oprah Win Winfrey mug. That's so funny. The customer is always wrong. That's actually hilarious and just actually a really cute mug. I literally can't get over how cute this is. I have to go here. It's so cute. There's also a wine bar right there. I'm sure all of you guys in Texas know, but I really wanna go there. I'm not really a big drinker, but, or really specifically wine, but I could do it. What is this, cool, da oh, cool Dallas stuff? Let's go, it's all Texas. Bulls that's actually so funny but they have all this like cute Dallas stuff they actually have really cute crew necks and stuff guys lower greenville is so cute like this is a macaroons like it's all very very cute for some reason i don't feel great um what's that wait let's go in here shoes guys it's literally like also cream and easy and a bunch of cool stuff it's like seriously so cool okay so update on that place the laboratory very very cool um, they had a bunch of like high-end designer stuff. They also had vans. It was just cool They also had a section of like crewnecks and stuff that were vintage that were all like Texas themed. It was just cool What? I'm gonna go get some snacks real quick Right in Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get some snacks from my new place, you know? All right guys, Maddie's over. We're gonna do some work. I made this cheese board It's not as cute as when Quinton helped me with mine, ironically, but Irish cheese um, brie, like cream cheese, I got the raspberry, chipotle stuff, pepperoni, crackers. Alright everyone, I have an event in literally 12 minutes, I need to leave. Pink turtleneck from Princess Polly, this big black leather jacket from Boohoo. And I'm going to just put this stuff from this bag into this bag. Here I am changing my bags again. I will quickly just show you guys a little what's in my bag. Here's what I switch over. Always gum, always lip gloss. I have my doll, don't need that, but just a bunch of lip products, whatever I kind of see, honestly, they're all neutrals. Another lip product, a scrunchie, basically gum, lip product, scrunchie, I don't need AirPods. Ugh, another lip product, Lip Addict, that's my favorite lip gloss. Um, I realized that it was $50 because after I recommended it to you guys, because I was sent it, so I didn't know, so I'm so sorry. Um, the lip injection one is a good dupe, but even that's a little bit pricey for like, but that's like Sephora high end a little bit. Here's my bag, I'm zipping that up. Now I'm off. I'm going to a dinner at Park House, which is kind of like the Soho House of Dallas, but um, it's a dinner for Equilibria. It's a CBD company, which I'm really excited for. So I'll show you guys what I got after. All right guys, so it is now 10 p.m. I just got home from the event, it was really cool. Coco is wilding out right now so it's pouring rain out um i drove and i was driving on like an off street and there was a really big pothole i drove over it and i was like this is not good and like when i say pothole like 
I mean, it was like the worst one I've ever seen. Like, I actually do not know how it's like that. It's so bad. There's a lot of construction around it. So I got a flat tire. This is what I get for recently talking about how there's never anything wrong with my car. It's always just me. Like, I'm making things up in my head. Well, I guess this isn't like my car. This is just a tire. But why? Like, why did I take that street? Why? So anyways, I get to Highland Park Village because the event was there. And then I'm like, no, I think it's fine. And I go look and my back right tire is for sure flat. So then I went to the event and I'm just gonna leave it there overnight. But then I get in the morning. Anyways, I'm back home. I'll show you guys what I got from the event. This is a CBD brand. It's by women for women. So it's also really high quality CBD, which really matters. I'm very educated now after my night with them. So I'm really excited to use this stuff. My back has been hurting like crazy. So this is like a relief cream. If you guys are concerned, it's not weed. I feel like everyone in the world, like this is completely 100% legal. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah. Then we have soft gels. There's also some daily drops. They're like testing out some flavor drops. But yeah, I'm really excited to try it, this stuff out. I've heard really, really good things. I also definitely have anxiety and I've been having problems sleeping for the first time in forever. Not necessarily sleeping. I just want a weird sleep schedule, I think. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this stuff out. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, it is 6 p.m. as I'm starting this vlog. Just went to Trader Joe's today. It was a bit of a task, like lazy day. Then I got my car fixed. Guys, I am so excited. So they sent, I think I just, like, I think it's just a variety pack, but thank you guys so much. Oh, wow. Thank you. Guys, this is a very exciting addition to the kitchen. I have finally a knife set. My pots and pans are now being delivered on Wednesday, I think. I don't know. It was a whole mess, but I now have my own little cute knife set, which I'm so excited for. Okay, guys. Plot twist. Quentin is actually the charcuterie board master. Um, when I made one this week without him, I realized that it only ever looks good because he arranges it. So, here we go. Love a good charcuterie board. Oh my gosh, also, I forgot. The biggest secret is putting this stuff, basically any like chipotle or raspberry um, preserves on top of cream cheese, or in my case, I have just brie, but it is literally the best thing ever. It doesn't even, like, say, I don't know, I feel like it is a lot better than it sounds. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is so good. My mom used to make it all the time in like a much larger selection. We need more cheese, the more of the Irish cheese, so I'll get that out, but yeah, that's what we do. I like Irish cheese and brie the best. Irish cheese is one of those things that just doesn't look that good, but it's actually freaking amazing. So I just get this from Trader Joe's, but I remember having this one time when I was like seven or eight, and then ever since then I've been an Irish cheese kind of gal, cheese kind of gal, I can't speak today. Anyways, we have just been watching Nashville, which is our new show. We're on episode six, which is very exciting. Today's been more chill, like I said. Um, here's our beautiful cheese board coming Nashville. to life. Put it back on there. Nashville. Oh, the show's already done, but better late than never. If it's a good show, it's a good show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, this is our perfect Thursday night. We have this beautiful charcuterie board that is going on top of this this is our really cozy setup again really proud of this honestly q you are so much better at this than i am also I Quint yeah he really does quentin is like so excited for the hef what guys i literally cannot speak today i haven't been able to speak in my whole life actually um but he's so excited for the kombucha he's gonna try tropical punch He's pouring me a glass of wine because I want wine, <laughs> and then he has his kombucha. So, here we go. Oh, also comment down below if you guys have seen Nashville. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's really my new show. Good morning, everyone. Look at how beautiful the light is hitting. Like, just wow. I'm ready for the day. I'm wearing my new favorite pair of jeans. I got these from Revolve. They're girlfriend denim. I love them. I know this is not a good view. I'll show you guys later when I'm upstairs and I still have a mirror pic. Oh, Coco came up to get, let's see, Coco. Let's take a pic of you. Okay, oh, Coco, look at me. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, guys. I'm sorry, but have you ever seen anything so cute? It's currently 8.30. I've been up for a while. I showered, I got ready. That's why my hair is still wet. 
Um, I'm just wearing this really casual outfit. I'm actually getting coffee with a Dallas photographer today. She DM'd me and I was like, let's just get coffee. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm down to meet friends. So, um, we're going there somewhere in Deep Elm. I've never been. It's called Good Companions. So, she said she shoots for there. So, I'm like, oh, that sounds... It looked so cute on Instagram. Today, I have a lot of computer work. And then I have to go to my dad's to do laundry, guys. I have so much laundry. I'm at the point where I'm like, I literally have no clothes to wear at all. Like, I have so much laundry to do. Okay, guys, I'm listening to Ed my life. As you guys know, I normally just drink my coffee black when I'm at home, but I got some oat milk from Trader Joe's, so I want to try it out and see how I like it. The way the light is hitting my house this morning is so beautiful, but oh my gosh, guys, I just like love life. Okay, guys, update on my oat milk from Trader Joe's. I actually really like this. Obviously, it definitely tastes a little bit better than black coffee, so I like this. I'm gonna give it a good rating. I need to head out like very, very soon. Hey right, guys, I made it. I'm not gonna bring my camera in, but it's so cute. That's the back. I can't even see the front, but even over here, like, wow. Love it. I honestly have not spent that much time over here, so it's just super cute. Okay guys, it's been two hours. Great coffee day. She's like literally so cute. We had such a great conversation, but I'm heading home. I really need to edit. Um, I was not planning on being there for that long, but we were having a great time. I have not really spent much time in Bishop Arts in like forever. And I'm so impressed with everything here. It's literally so cool. All right, guys, I've been home for a bit. I've just been doing some computer work, and I made some lunch. Surprise, surprise, salmon and broccoli. Um, I'm also making a sweet potato because I have so many, but it just takes much longer. But I'm editing a week in my life vlog. I want to get this done, and then I have to go pick up Q, and we're going to go to my dad's to do laundry. All right, guys, this vlog is already so long, and I'm just doing laundry, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Q and I actually have this brilliant, well, I have this brilliant idea that I just shared with him, but I know a lot of you guys tell me that you watch these vlogs with your boyfriends, so we want the boyfriend perspective, so we want photos of you guys watching, and then Quentin wants to make a Facebook support group. I'm, like, literally not kidding. He's not going to do that, but... If you guys watch with your boyfriends, send selfies, please. Stories, tag us both. We want to see that. I feel like it can happen. I feel like it could be a good thing. You know? No, because I, I think don't... the guys need to stick together. I think you girls have a support group. You know, your secret Facebook group. He's so think... bitter about the fact that he's not on I the Facebook group. I think we need group. like a super secret support group. Like another S, like SSS. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you soon. Bye.